Lisa Lunt and I'm with eXp Realty. I got my license in 2016 and I've had so many people reach out to me to ask me how I became a top producer in such a short amount of time. Today, I'm gonna talk about my journey with you. I worked on Wall Street at Goldman Sachs for over 10 years, and I believe that helped me transition into the successful agent I am today. So I moved to Las Vegas in the late 90s where I met my husband, had twins, and we were buying and selling properties and I enjoyed it so much. So real estate was always in the back of my mind. And then I, we moved to North Carolina in 2007. So I was fortunate enough to be home with my children. And then in 2016, I got my real estate license. Uh, my son's best friend, his mom reached out to me and asked if I'd like to go to free licensing school with her. And I was just like, oh my gosh yes of course and I was ready because now they were 13 and they can get off the bus and get in the house on their own and I could have flexibility so for the first six months of signing on to Keller Williams I focused on training that was so important for me and how to start a successful business so I did my post licensing by the end of 2016 I was ready to go and I also did my first transaction I had when I was doing my post licensing and preparing to start my business and taking all the trainings I did meet someone who wanted to rent a house and so I did my first transaction in the first 90 days. We just happened to be looking at houses and somehow we ended up where she bought a house. So that was a great experience for me. And But really my business took off in 2017. I created my business plan, I knew what I needed to do to have a successful business or to get started. So one would be time management. I work every day with a calendar, so I blocked out time. So to create my business plan, I knew that I needed to focus on what my goals were, how many transactions I wanted to do, how I was gonna get those transactions, the trainings that I needed to take, and once I knew how many transactions I wanted to do, the next step was figuring out how I was gonna get those transactions. So the next step was marketing. So how am I going to market myself and lead gen? Where was I going to start? A key part of that was who am I targeting? Now that I had a plan, I knew that I needed the training so I can execute my plan. So when I created my business plan, I knew what I needed to do to have a successful business or to get started. So one would be time management. I work every day with a calendar, so I blocked out time. So to create my business plan, I knew that I needed to focus on what my goals were, how many transactions I wanted to do, how I was gonna get those transactions, the trainings that I needed to take, and once I knew how many transactions I wanted to do, the next step was figuring out how I was gonna get those transactions. So the next step was marketing. So how am I going to market myself and lead gen? Where was I going to start? A key part of that was who am I targeting? Now that I had a plan, I knew that I needed the training so I can execute my plan. So when I created my business plan, I knew what I needed to do to have a successful business or to get started. So one time management meant everything to me. My calendar is everything. You have to have the discipline. When I started, I was really motivated, but that goes away very soon. And But you have to stay focused and you have to be disciplined. And when you are, things will come to fruition. As my business took off in 2017, I was awarded Rising Star at my firm and did 12 transactions when the average agent does four to six transactions a year. How did I start lead generating to get my business? So I started marketing in my neighborhood and being on a tight budget, I couldn't send out hundreds of cards a month. So I started small. I took a couple of streets around where I live and then I focused on a townhouse neighborhood and on a few streets there. And that's how it started started sending out postcards and started handwriting them or you know getting printing off labels from tax records I went in and who was living in their homes five years or more targeted those people I just kept doing it once a month every month for a solid year and in addition to that I was knocking on doors and then I got my first call 